Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching What Remains of Evan Finch, and last time we met a guy who likes scrawling things in a notebook, but doesn't especially like talking to people. Says, I should probably get out of here. There's probably something dangerous up ahead, and I don't even know it. Something dangerous like this puzzle. Okay, this is a... This is a pretty... Okay, let's see what we've got. This Is this the... This seems like a repeat of the earlier one. This is... This seems like the first puzzle. But didn't we not just... Okay, oh, I like how the plants grow when you successfully clear the pillar. That was... What's the deal? That was... Well, that was easy. That was like a repeat of the first puzzle. What was the deal with that? Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Very good. What a strong feeling of deja vu. Hmm. Maybe they... Maybe they do that every time that I load from a save, just so that, uh... It re-familiarizes me with the mechanics, but here we go. They're, they're gonna throw me into the hard stuff now. We got... We gotta clear this big old thing over here. With just these... Po well, no, not just these platforms. There are a few others. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so if we go here and touch this, it'll alternate so that this pops out and I transport all the way over to the left. Okay, so now, okay, so this goes, this pops out, and this goes here. Hmm. If I go here and then back, now that big old L wall is going to get in my way. I don't want that. Let's see. I may have to make it, how do we want to do this? Okay, very good. All right. Hmm. So now... Okay, now we're up against an actual decent puzzle here. Okay, so we want to get the... We want to get this one in front of me and the one on the other side of the L wall popped out. So... If we go over here and... Bloop, go to here. No, that just makes it all... Okay, oh, well, just a second. If we go back here, though... Pop this one out. Okay, yeah, I think I got it. Okay, so... Alright, and then reorient. There we go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You can't fool me, game. I got this. Let's grow some flowers. Ah, that was a... That was a big one, but it was a fun one. No, that one was nice. Okay, so we're stopping to ask Nicola a favor. That favor... <laughs> hmm. Gee, I wonder who she has in mind. That hard to crack, huh? Doesn't even begin to describe it. Yeah, that's a... Uh, wow, okay, you can't give up that easy, Dices. We're not even on the hard puzzles yet, I'm sure. I don't think this is the place. Alright. Nicola has an idea. Nicola seems unflappable. I I think we can rely on him. What? Do, here's what we'll do. Next time you run into him... Oh, do the old uh, walkie-talkie under the hat. I got it. Repeat after me. I will say fewer things. We'll get him to crack. He has to know something. Okay, just, uh, alright. <laughs> I think we can trust Nicola. I think he, he seems like a master of light conversation. I think we got this. Yes, the monoliths have teleportation technology. Hey, yeah. <laughs> wow, it takes, yeah, it takes a lot to impress Nicola. I kind of figured that was the case. Maybe Evan has some connection with this place after all. Was Evan working on teleportation technology? Okay, so once we find a sand notebook guy, we're going to have a little coaching conversation here. But I think first, we're going to solve some more puzzles. Okay, yeah, this is the part of the game I like. The puzzle solving. So, we go from here. Okay, we, we need this one at least. Uh, we need this to get up to here. Oh, that's, that's tricky. Uh, can we make it to this one from... What the heck? What the heck? I don't even know what that was all about. That was weird. That was my phone doing weird business. Okay, so... Let's see. Now I'm now I'm distracted. What the heck? Okay, so... Get up to here. I think we can jump from here to here. Alright. Then from here... Oh, that was weird. It didn't let me... didn't let me go. Okay, so we want to clear them all out now. Okay. I think I can just jump from 
I think I can just jump from here to here to here up to this one. Okay. Oh, but then I have to... Okay. Oh, yeah. So I have to... Alright, so pop down on this one. Oh, okay. I can look down. I hold down, the camera goes down. Okay, very nice. Oh, so down and up is for looking at all the puzzle. Okay. That's probably pretty convenient. Okay, so I think I've got it. We jump from this one to this one over to here. And that gets us up to here. Ah, got it. Okay. Very good. Grow those grow those plants. And I guess between... Yeah, that's kind of what I figure. Like, after a fairly... After a moderately difficult puzzle, you get a cutscene. That's kind of kind of what I figured. Uh -huh. Ah, not this time. I've got the power of scripted conversation on my side. Uh, is this... Or is Dices going off book? Yeah, no kidding. My name is... Uh, Vanille. Yeah, that's it. What's up with the scan line, like, going through her neck there? That's the only... That's the only giant sprite that has it. I thought it was my TV for a second, but... There's actually something a little bit off about the... About the artwork there. There's a... There's a line cutting right through her neck. But anyway, my name is Vanille, and I'm here on behalf of Upbrain Labs. We're looking for someone important. A boy named Evan. Prodigy boy. Missing. Maybe a hoid of him. Yeah, he seems to be uh, pretty famous. Okay, still talking. A message for help was recently received from an unknown island. Aha! Dysis, FBI. Mm hmm, okay. Prime suspect. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna see right through that. Yeah, I think he's probably barely listening to you. You're not very good at this uh, good cop, bad cop stuff, are you, Dices? Yes. Yes, Vanille. Uh, yes, but I'm, my name is Dice, I mean Vanille. What is it? Uh, okay. Is it another puzzle? I bet it's another puzzle. Let's see if it's another puzzle. Okay, we're going this way. What's the thing that Mystery Notebook Guy was? Oh, now it's back to now it's back to this. Okay. Oh, is he sitting down? At, is this the story being told here? Yeah, go knocking on the door goes fine at most places. Well, yeah. Neighbors aren't really a concept here in. Ha <laughs> ha, fair point. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but this guy wasn't home at the time, so, you know. Rules are rules, he can invite himself in. I think that's how things work on this island. I think I'm getting the gist of it. Begging wasn't working. You can stay. This guy, this, uh, this sand notebook guy, he is, uh, very capricious. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of commerce going on on this island, so, uh... Not much of an economy to speak of, so I don't guess he needs money to spend. From sleeping in the dump to this. It has to be my lucky day. Well, yeah, that I would say that's an upgrade, so... Looks like these two are becoming fast friends. Okay, now we've got... Alright, now we've got another series of... Can I go backwards from here? No, okay. I don't know why I was trying that, but you never know. Okay, so we've got stairs now. Are they going to introduce st so a city, huh? Looks to be. Oh, what's left of it? All right, this way. This way to a uh, city puzzle number one. This is this looks like some uh, really advanced neural net circuitry going on right here. I am digging this vibe. Some very pretty buildings around here. So I go over here. And I go to him. This island was once inhabited by a certain civilization. And a legend says, a long time ago, they created an artifact that mocked death itself. <laughs> I look death in the face, and I laugh 
at his ugly nose. Which means... Aha! Uh -huh, so... People on this island created an artifact and made them immortal. Kind of a cliche dream, yeah. And it definitely has its downsides. Now, oh, he's, he's doing the research for the greater good then. What are you writing all the time? He's translating. I'm translating. All of these monoliths you see along the seashore, every one of them is a word. A hieroglyph. A symbol of sorts. Let me guess, in the civilization's language? Exactly. Okay, when reading them together, they form a message. Well, yeah, this guy doesn't know yet. He's still got scribbling and deciphering to do. I will once and for all know the nature, and more importantly, the location of the artifact. The secret to immortality. And then I'm gonna sell it on eBay for $90. It's a candy dish, Ned. So let's find out. Let's see. Very weird how they just make you run to the next dialogue trigger. That's kind of weird. Just tell, tell me the whole thing in one big shot. Interesting story. Old tale from my hometown. <laughs> it's on another nearby island, not too far from here. You might know it as Ohio. Not to be rude, but do you really believe in all that? The city and ruins match the legend exactly. Eh, could be a little circumstantial, but you know... You know, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. We'll say that's good enough evidence. It's a lot more than what I was expecting to find, and it's hope for me. Well, what does that mean? He does, he does he need some hope? Does he need something to cling to in his life? Does he need that? I need more answers, notebook boy. Come on. Yep, I figured there was more talking to be done. I guess I should intro- Oh, we're finally going to get a name out of him. I can't believe it. My name is Clover Emore. Sorry about the lack of courtesy back there. Until now, I was certain you were just another person searching for the artifact. I don't care too much about the artifact. I'm actually looking for a guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, immortality is for squares. Well, he's still kind of a jerk. If I do find out anything about this Evan guy, I'll let you know. I'm sorry to say, I haven't seen a single soul apart from us. This, uh, this Evan is even more mysterious than, uh, this Clover guy. Yeah, the monoliths are fun. Looks like they made sure their visitors didn't die from boredom. You can always just walk around them. No, I don't... Can you? Can you really? Oh, yeah, there is... I think there is a skip puzzle option, actually. But why would you do that? That's... Take good luck with the lost genius thing. Yeah. That's, uh... That's certainly a deal. And phone call from Nicola. Yeah, real good, uh, real good dialogue there, but at least we got somewhere with Clover, so I'm okay with it. Mmm, okay. I had to intimidate him for a bit to spit it out. Uh, Nicola definitely playing the bad cop in this case. I couldn't come up with anything else. Remember to be careful about your name. It's the second most important thing about this situation. But Evan is the first. Evan is what the eye, the prize we should have our eyes on. Yeah, he he seems like he seems pretty unconnected for the moment. But I think everything will connect. You know, give me an hour and I'll find out about the legend. It takes you an hour to Google legends, Nicola. Meanwhile, don't get too far away from him. Pump him for info. Are you serious? Yeah. Dysus is very credulous, but you know, don't be so easily convinced. This is a video game, remember Dysus. It's the only thread we have regarding Evan right now. Oh, he's got a hunch. Really? <laughs> You'll need more than that to convince me. This from the lady who just said that uh, she believes he has nothing to do with it after one conversation. Besides, the place looks like it'll have... Loads of monoliths. Why not try to have some fun? I'm trying to have some fun, but this is a very dialogue-heavy mystery. If he's here, it's just a matter of time before he shows up. Oh, if you only knew him. Things are never simple when the almighty Evan is involved. The legendary Evan. Evan Almighty. Could he really be here? Alright, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh... 
No need to rest up. You know how to reach me if you need anything. Oh. What? I thought she was kidding. Like, I was just going to move on and solve some puzzles, but, uh... Bedtime for Bonzo, apparently. What the heck was that? Okay, so... So we're at home in, uh... So Dices can just, like, C5 to her apartment, I guess? What's, uh... What time is it? Okay, so I guess she... She lives with Nicola? Okay, she took a nap. She lost her transmitter. They're gonna kill me. Okay. Picture of a... Mayfly? What the... Clover. Okay, so Clover stole the transmitter then. Nighttime on the island. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so is she calling him or is she opening a portal to... Yeah, okay. Yeah, the portal is open. Yeah, finally finally got a rise out of him though. That's that's nice. Something strange just happened and don't exactly know what to do. You're the only other human being around here. Okay, so she's deciding to put her eggs in the clover basket and trust him despite Nicola's warning. Uh, uh Sure. Yeah, no big deal once you get used to it. Oh, we got a Dr. McCoy here. Afraid he's gonna get his molecules scrambled. Alrighty then, what's... What's he up to? Yeah, you have really stepped in it now, Dysus. Yep. In for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> you could have just been an Uber driver, Isis, but you had to you had to apply for the weird job. Just where are we? Short answer, my house. Long answer, my house. So, Evan invented the portal technology. Okay. But what he's doing on the island, that's still a mystery. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure either. First, you need to calm down. Second, you need to solve some puzzles. There's some pretty cool monoliths out there waiting for us, and we're just drowning in dialogue here. Yep, looks like she's gonna rope him into the mystery. Take a look at what appeared here when I woke up. And also, my transmitter seems to be missing. Okay. Yeah, a mayfly. Just as I thought. Any idea? Well, she probably thought he did it. Something tells me it was Evan. Oh, Evan being weird. Evan the chess master playing the mind games. Although it did come from a notebook. Maybe he's just maybe he's just playing coy about not knowing about portal technology and stuff. He can only get in and out using the portal. The portals are open to the key upward, so her house has no doors. It does have a window though. Probably doesn't open, though. And those panes are probably plexiglass. And every key has a unique ID. What I'm getting at is that the only person who can open this portal is me. And yet somebody got in here and posted a picture of a mayfly right under my window. Yeah, it would make sense for the creator to have an override. 
Yeah, you know, just speculating. The drawing is just a red herring. He had to leave something to prove he was here. Okay. Okay, seems seems in line with Evan's modus operandi. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get some. We're gonna pull this clover guy into the job, and we're gonna. Evan has been okay. Here we go. Evan has been missing for years, but recently revealed to Upbring that he's on this island, the one you're on. He asks for me to come meet him for some weird reason. Okay, up to speed so far. Oh, come on, dude. You're smart. What the heck is Upbring? That's the company that uh, she works for. It's a scientific research and development firm. Evan was an important member. Probably on the board or some such. Perfect. Continue. Okay, so they sent me to find Evan in constant communication with Nicola from Upbring. I woke up and there's a drawing in the room. The transmitter I was using to talk to Nicola disappeared. So Nicola's probably in a bit of hot water too. The important part is Evan may be here. He could be under the bed. He could be inside the armoire. But he's probably just back on the island. Not knowing exactly what's going on is troubling. What if there's someone else here? What if they want to hurt me? They didn't say combat was going to be part of this game. It, it could just be... Could just be, yeah, Evan the chess master being being a big old weirdo. You would think maybe maybe it's uh, good to send somebody who has no idea what's going on. Maybe that helps somehow. Okay. Don't forget that the island hides a secret that anyone would want. That's true. Uh, yeah, it would make sense for a corporation to be uh, trying to exploit a technology like that. But it would not be illogical. No, it is true for the island to be a target because of that. Although I can't imagine what kind of motives they might have. Money! They like money! Yeah, that's true. They yeah, have money, dear boy. <laughs> Finish the job, meet with Evan. Well, yeah. Like I say, in for a penny, in for a pound. Nicholas said that sooner or later, Evan will show up. So that's not the major issue. I think I know what we're going to find. We're going to find more puzzles. Okay. I don't know, you look pretty scared. <laughs> oh, well. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we C5 back to the island and, uh... Actually, you're in a sealed room talking to a guy you just met. Uh, I don't think I can do it. Not without Nicola. Well, looks like you're gonna have to do it without Nicola. You know, there might uh, there might be a guy in this room uh, willing to help. You know, maybe and maybe I can uh, pay you in noodles. Maybe. Let's join Clover in deciphering the message, because if Evan, or whoever is here, it wouldn't be a stretch to assume they're looking for the same thing. Okay, so if we go about deciphering the the monoliths, if the message tells us where the artifact is, it'll also tell us where he is. Yeah, I mean, that's all we've got to go on right now. Looks like Player 2 has joined the game. Yeah, she can take care of herself. She can solve puzzles with the best of them. You're right that it's not unreasonable to assume that Evan's looking for the same thing. But if that's the case, what if he's already found it? He has been missing for a long, long time. Enough to be able to do virtually anything. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become... Okay, so the model is the puzzles themselves are okay okay that's why we okay this is why we ran into the one and eternal will become okay so each of these means something 
This is what's engraved on the monolith so far. Yeah, that monolith did repeat itself because it was an entire word, and that'll help us. You'd be surprised at- so are we gonna see, like, repeat puzzles every now and then? I mean, it's cool if it's for a story-based reason, but it's still kind of odd. Uh-huh. Alright. So the notebook's existence is a secret. Well, considering the kind of corporation she works for, this whole room is probably bugged. I don't even know if they should be talking to each other right now. Anyway, if we're following the same path, I find the artifact, you find Evan. Win-win. We will see if Clover's motives are pure. Just want to make it clear, I'm not afraid, and I don't need anyone to take care of me. She is a strong, independent, puzzle-solving woman, and she don't need no man. Yep, let's work together for now. A temporary alliance. <laughs> Alright, fine, cool. You'll walk in front so I can look at your butt. Oops, said the quiet part loud. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's zip on out of here. Where are you going, bud? Hope you're not looking for the door. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You did forget. Oh, uh, yeah. Ow, oh, Clover, don't be that way. Well, if the island is uninhabited, who is she trying to impress, huh? What a weird flex. Well, anyway, there we are. So, hopefully here is... Oh, here we are, back to the island then. Alright, all dressed up, ready for action, which we're going to get to next time. Everything is ready. And by the way, there's something I can't get out of my mind. Upbring wanted to make certain this island remained hidden. Which leads me to a really puzzling question. How did you find it? Ah, uh, you know. Courtesy of a friend. He found it. And then gave me the notebook. The island's location is in the notebook. Maybe his friend is Evan? Uh, my friend's name is, uh... Kevin. Yeah, yes, that's right. Devin. Vincent Vall. Vincent Valentine? I see. Why? Just want to make sure it wasn't somebody from Upbring. Imagine anyone who leaks information ends up regretting it. Yeah, sleeping with the fishes in the beautiful crystal clear water. You're speaking as if they control the entire island. And yet I don't see a single trace of human activity. Who knows? I mean, they have laid down Google Fiber here. I get a pretty good signal on my phone. So... The artifact is my only hope for her. Oh. Okay, there's a... There's a lady. Oh, his little sister. Okay. Oh. So if he can get to the artifact, and it unlocks the secret of immortality, she can, uh... Then she can live forever. Although, it won't cure whatever is going on with her, so... Maybe she'll just have eternal life but be in pain all the time? That wouldn't be fun. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! What? What? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yeah, what the heck is going on in this cartoon? Okay, yeah, how long has this guy been here? If he doesn't recognize his own sister. Yeah. We'll catch up to him later. Yeah, well, you don't have the transmitter, so, uh... Okay, that's good. We are... Looks like everything is hunky-dory. We can move on from here. So next time, we will move on. And we will, uh... We will follow, uh... <laughs> our brother, apparently, into the ruins. Into the breach once more with... 
Dear Big Brother. Wow, okay. Hmm. This is getting spooky. <laughs> 